Welcome to another episode of the Texas Wedding Show. I'm Jordan, and this is my sister Brittany. And we're Ladybird Studios. And it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's Wedding Venue Wednesday. Wednesday. You're watching the Texas Wedding Show. We're your host, Ladybird Studios, a DFW and Austin-based wedding photo and video team. And today we're coming to you from the Mason Dallas with our special co-host, Kyle Hennigan. Thank you, welcome guys. Thanks. Kyle, this venue is stunning and I cannot wait to see more of it. But before we go on tour, can you tell us a little bit about the place? Mm -hmm. So the Mason Dallas opened uh, April 3rd, 1920 as Oak Cliff Masonic Lodge number 705. Uh, here in Historic Oak Cliff, now known as Bishop Arts District. Um, we purchased in 2018, spent 2019 reimagining the space to what it is today as a local luxury uh, wedding and event venue. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. The history of this place, I can't wait to explore it more. So do you want to show us around? We'll get started, guys, right this way. Let's go. So um, I do like during the tours, I do like pointing out some of the uh, original architectural features as well as the different design details. This is one of my favorite pieces here. We've nicknamed it the Gentleman Chandelier. Uh, everybody notices the canes. It takes a second before they notice that top hat. Oh yeah. Top hat's amazing. I actually wore a top hat to my wedding. So <laughs> I love that. I love them. Yep. So cool. Well, this place feels like the best groom suite ever. Am I right? Is this the groom suite? This is the groom suite. Uh, this is actually the parlor. Uh, we have fair on ball paint that you see, see covering the walls as well as behind us the Gracie wall coverings. Mm -hmm. uh, each piece is hand selected and refinished. They're all individual uh, vintage pieces. I love it so. so much. Yeah, I was noticing the furniture, just all the antique and, and how it all is so like different, but it just, it goes together so well. It's just, it's so unique and very, very well it. appointed. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, fortunate for that. Uh, this is actually the most photographed room in the venue. Oh, wow. Lots I've, of lots of engagements and bridals are shot in here. I believe it. Yeah. The groom's got to keep their stuff tidy, you know, for the photos, right? But right. Uh, I mean, it's just amazing. I feel like I need a glass of whiskey and just to sit in one of these. <laughs> I would warm say chairs. a cigar, but that's uh, illegal. Uh, and no Dallas cigars. snuck yeah. inside. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll I don't save that it, right? for outside. Chew on it? Right. There we go. All right. Perfect. Um, so this leads right into the ceremony. Correct. This ceremony is spot? just this is to the back of the grand hall, which is where we do ceremony, and then uh, oftentimes come back up for dancing, and we'll see that next. Okay. Awesome. Let's go cool. check it out. This room is incredible. The the first thing I noticed are the chandeliers. The little baubles. Yeah, yeah, is that what you call them? Uh, yeah, they, they could call it a number of things, but they are definitely the focal point for the Grand Hall. Uh, yeah. This space we actually utilize uh, for ceremony and often people come back up and we actually use it as a grand ballroom for dancing. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see why. A few of the uh, architectural features here that are original to the building. Uh, these two columns are original. Uh, when we purchased the building, there's actually a stage all the way across the front and there was four columns. They created three oh, wow. different alcoves for uh, the Masons and when they'd be doing presentations and speaking. Okay, okay. I can imagine what kind of things would happen on that stage. <laughs> uh, tons of history, tons of history yeah. between uh, the Masons and then at one point there was actually a church in here, oh, really? two doctor's offices, a yoga studio, <laughs> and the wedding suite in the basement was actually the basement art gallery. Oh, wow. So, oh, my goodness. Lots so of history beyond the Masons here as yeah. well. Yeah, absolutely. I bet um, there's a lot of really, a lot of really gorgeous ceremonies that happen in here. I, I can just imagine all the different things that I would want to do with this space. It's a beautiful space, yeah. even keeping it just stark white and clean. Mm -hmm. uh, then we do have our, our couples who want to go be a little more extravagant with yeah. floral hanging from the ceiling, the entire oh. wall covered. Wow. Uh, you do have those options, but it's, it's, a, it's a really utilitarian space where we can create even for corporate events and for holidays. Mm -hmm. We can uh, reimagine the space for each event too. I love that. Yeah, and the focal point with those columns and the fireplace, mm -hmm. uh, all that leading there is just spectacular. And we even throw in a baby grand piano fully tuned, so. Oh, fully tuned. Yes, the guests, uh, the clients have an option of utilizing that for ceremony, uh, for entertainment during cocktail hour. Cool. But it sounds fantastic in this room yeah, here. Yeah, the acoustics. Because the acoustics is here and just, Perfect. Even with the high ceilings, but yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got enough curtains and things like that, and then, yeah. Lots of texture in the building. 
mm. especially with all the wainscoting. And most people assume that with the wainscoting and the wallpaper and the furnishing that it looked like this when we purchased it. It did not. Uh, it, it, it took us a full year <laughs> to reimagine it, which means we pretty much started from the bones up. Yeah. So it is a historical building, so we weren't able to change much on the exterior. We're limited what we could do there, but on the interior, we pretty much had free reign, and Alan did what he does best. Yeah. Yeah, which is just incredible. All the, all the little details all around, and we haven't even seen it all yet. Right, yeah. But this also leads into this other amazing room. Can you show us this room? Yes, it's gonna be the drawing room. Let's go look at it. Perfect. Well, I'm just nuts about all the furniture and everything in here. I guess this is an amazing cocktail hour spot. Is that right? This is. We utilize the drawing room for cocktail hour. Uh, often our wedding party after ceremony will head down for dinner. When they come back up, we actually utilize the grand hall for dancing. Mm. And this area is a built-in uh, lounge area yeah. with all the vintage pieces. We call the, the little details, we call them tiny noticeable touches. Uh, oh, Alan refers that. to it as TNT for <laughs> short. Uh, they're small, but they do make an explosive impact with, with the guests. Everybody loves the little architectural features and the uh, details to, to uh, design. It's yeah. the details that matter, that, that take elevated above the others. Well, the other thing I was thinking about is, you know, I've been doing weddings for, this is my 13th year and I've noticed quite often how much people, I know, right? You've been <laughs> so much longer than me. 30 years, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but one thing I've noticed is, um, you know, a lot of times at different venues, they'll bring in furniture, and that budget for bringing in furniture can sometimes be ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. The delivery fee can be $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you're totally right. But, uh, but having amazing pieces like this already built in, it comes with it. Um, and it fits the venue perfectly. It's just such a perfect. It does, and guests are more than welcome. You know, venues rent it as is. So uh, guests are, the day of, night of their event, are welcome to reimagine the space, uh, utilizing what we have here, so. Yeah, I love it. It's gorgeous, everything about it. And you've got uh, a spot for a bar here. We do, we have several uh, areas that we do include a, a bar here. We also have an identical bar downstairs. Uh, we include enough tables and chairs for 200 for an event. Uh, we try to make sure that all the bones are here. One less thing to worry about as, as a client coming in. Uh, you have the lounge furniture built in, right? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have the tables and chairs. That's one less thing you're gonna have to rent from to bring in. Um, we don't do anything with the decor. We leave that up to the client. Yeah. So uh, you'd obviously need to bring in your rental and your floral. Mm -hmm. Right. But I don't see a lot of floral like in the drawing room because there's so much warmth and texture going on. Right. Usually right. little bud bases with pop of color. Right. right. I love that when you are at a location that, uh, you know, as if I were a bride, I would love being at a location where I didn't have to bring in a lot. You know, saves you time and money you already have so much character here, you don't need to add a lot. Correct, and that, that's our goal. Uh, all the while being such a large space at 10,000 square feet between the two floors, uh, we do want it to feel like it's, it's just a large, comfortable home mm -hmm. for not just our clients, but their guests as well. I was gonna say, I bet uh, you have a lot of wedding guests that come in here and just love to take pictures, lounging on the furniture. We do, and... yes, lots of, lots of selfie opportunities <laughs> throughout the building. Uh, but you know, you will see people during 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 events taking pictures as groups with family up to yeah. the side. Yeah. So uh, we do also offer engagement shoots, nice bridal shoots. Uh, we just shot a maternity shoot this week. Oh, fun! Uh, they drove in from Houston just to shoot here, which wow. is a nice compliment. Yeah. Uh, also, your know, branding shoots as well for some of the corporations. Uh, we just had a, a law firm shoot here two weeks ago. Yep. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm imagining some just great romantic photos on these couches and you know just some beautiful romantic vintage vibes mm -hmm. just amazing stuff that you could do in here yes our couples love it for photos yeah i bet okay remind me so you have your ceremony here and then do they come in here or what what's usually the the flow so general flow would be ceremony cocktail hour uh and then we invite everybody down to the banquet hall for dinner maybe we should go see that let's go awesome Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah. This, this wallpaper, are you kidding me? So this is actually Miss Sony wallpaper. We have the marble countertops, the hexagon subway tiles. This is the ladies room on the second floor. 
It's a bit dramatic. Yeah. A little bit, a lot going on here, right? Maybe that's why I like it. But everybody loves it, yeah. It's got a lot going on like me. <laughs> a little bit dramatic too. Oh my gosh. Perfect background for those bathroom selfies. Yes. Oh my gosh. And the texture on that wallpaper. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to peel you away. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> Okay, so our banquet hall on the first floor, we can seat up to 200. Nice. We do include, as I mentioned earlier, enough tables and chairs for up to 200 guests, inclusive of these three vintage form tables that are super popular with our couples and with our clients. They're wonderful for head tables. They can actually be small enough for a gorgeous sweetheart table, uh, but also they make great grazing tables. Yeah, oh. for sure. I, I love the exposed brick so much. Yeah. yeah. So the exposed brick has been here for a while. It just hasn't been exposed <laughs> until we got a hold of the place. Uh, uh, most people just assume that uh, with the building, once again, that, that like the, the doors are original, that these columns are original. Uh, actually, Helen brought all of the wainscoting and, and all the columns in. I was fortunate to see some pictures um, <clears throat> before they actually painted, and they were still doing the install. So. Well, that's the great thing about the way that y'all redid it is that it feels original. Mm, you know, yeah. so it has that, you know, early 20th century vibe going on in it. And then, of course, we have all the individual chandeliers, yeah. which eventually catches everybody's eyes. Uh, they each have their own little design patterns. I know one behind us actually has lovebirds on it, which the couple seem to enjoy Aww, finding. Cute. Uh, but all of these little details down to the, the uh, sconces above the fireplace being little hands. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it really gets the, not just oh. our couples, but it gets their guests excited to see all these little, little details. It gets me excited, so. <laughs> and, you know, we love the the lovebirds because of Ladybird Studios, <laughs> so. Um, wow, and I, what, I was going to say, one of the things I love about these tables is uh, instead of having, like, the, you know, the smaller circular tables, which I'm sure you do. We do. Um, but these feel more like a family meal. Yeah. And, you know, all all the guests can, you can talk to more people and you're closer to the person across they from do, you. They do make great family tables. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I love those. I love these vintage wedding photos. Where'd you get those? So we do get questions, ask a lot about these couples. Yeah. Uh, they all <laughs> assume that they got married here. <laughs> uh, maybe if you did, we don't really know, but these were all hand selected and collected over the years by, uh, Alan, the owner and the designer, uh, makes a great statement piece. Mm -hmm. uh, I do love watching the guests stand here for a couple minutes and, and enjoy each photograph. Yeah, absolutely. I know I could. It's a nice detail, detail piece. Yeah. Absolutely. And you've also got uh, another great sitting area here. We do. All of our rooms have nicknames. So this area over here we refer to as the library. Uh, we do have a soft wall, so some of my couples and some of my corporate clients will close it off, make up the coffee room or do the bourbon bar, nice. martini bar. Yeah. I love it. So an, another little space to utilize during the event. Yeah. Should we should we go over there? So I wanted to come just get a closer look at everything. And do you want to point out what you were showing me earlier? Uh, so one of the statement pieces is going to be the actually it's, it is a bar, uh, but we use it as a bookshelf. Uh, it is one of the most popular pieces in this area. Yeah, I can see why. And people drawn to it, yeah. Absolutely. It's really beautiful. And what are these portraits behind me? So those portraits uh, do not come, come with the Masons. Once again, <laughs> those are collected pieces. Uh, we do have some unique pieces hanging upstairs as well, as well as about the fireplace down here. Cool. I'd say uh, at least two or maybe maybe all three of these guys look like Masons. So. Absolutely. <laughs> could it yeah, certainly could like be, could right? Been, yeah. yeah. This guy on the bottom's got to be. <laughs> um, and then you've got, we, we saw the groom suite. Correct. Is there a bridal suite? We do. We have a, a wedding suite downstairs. Uh, this space formerly was the uh, basement art gallery. Uh, it's a nice large space, and it's usually the last thing that I show on the tour. Perfect. Is well, that where we should it. go? Where we should go. Okay. Well, I think this is maybe the biggest wedding suite that I've seen at any venue and also just spectacular. Tell us more about it. So this is the, the wedding suite at, in the basement of the Mason Dallas. Uh, we actually, uh, this is the last thing I usually show the bride. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have four private changing rooms, five hair and makeup stations. It's great for the larger parties. Uh, we try and provide everything that the, the couple may need for the wedding day, including full-size steamer, phone chargers, 
chill over wine and champagne, a little espresso, keep you sober throughout the day, right? <laughs> yeah. Or wake you up from the night before. Well, th this space is also becomes usually for our weddings becomes the uh, <laughs> the VIP lounge yeah. because only the wedding party knows it's down here. Nice. So it gives a nice little area for the wedding party to break away. Yeah, it's just During get the celebration. Breathe and... Yeah, and then you know head back upstairs and join everybody. Yeah. I love it. So. I bet brides get really excited whenever they come down here. They do. Yeah. They, do. Uh, I mean, they usually usually take the cheers for a spin or two. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Well, in the individual changing rooms, too. I don't think I've that's, ever seen No, that. no. A lot of times it's like everyone changing in front of each other, which usually, you know, you know each other. But... We are seeing a lot of, of mixed wedding parties. Right. Mm -hmm. So these are these have been wonderful in a godsend. Yeah. Um, also for our corporate events and our 501Cs, a lot of times the board, <laughs> they're down here changing for the event because they've been here all day. So those certainly come in handy as well. Yeah, I bet. Fantastic. And it's just, again, all the like details as far as design goes, but also function and, and practicality, just like the little things we are noticing, like uh, each of these mirrors has uh, its own individual like right. dimmer so if you're doing your makeup if you're not you can turn it on you can adjust it to whatever you need and so one member cool of the wedding party had too much to drink and then you turn their lights down a little <laughs> bit the night before yeah right. well yeah. i mean we we are a trail a there are our group holdings our principal company uh really heavy on the hospitality side so we try and think in advance what the the clients may need for their special day so they're not asking for a day of yeah, yeah. uh <clears throat> really big on, on not just the hospitality for our our clients our guests but also for our vendors the vendors can have their own space their own lounge so oh, that's fantastic. yeah that's so nice to really nobody think thinks of that, of that. thank right? you <laughs> right it's, yeah. it's a that. nice little addition to be able to get off your feet for a couple of minutes during during an event or actually sit at a table and eat yeah eat some food so you don't pass out and you can do your job well yeah i've been to plenty <laughs> of wedding venues where I've got to step outside and eat my food on the curb. Right, if you're so, lucky enough to yeah. <laughs> have the curb to eat on, right? right? right. Yeah. yeah. So, but we, you know, we, we're truly invested in hospitality and um, like I said, it shouldn't just be for our clients or our guests, it should be for everybody that's in our venue. Yeah. Love that Southern hospitality. <laughs> so we have some frequently asked questions that I'm sure you get a lot. Um, so we want to ask you those. Can we go back up to the drawing room and chat about those questions? Absolutely, let's go. Well, we hope you enjoyed the tour. I know that we did. Yeah, so now it's time to discuss some of the most commonly asked questions that couples have when they're picking out their wedding venue. All right. So you wanna start? Yeah, so Kyle, do couples need to hire a wedding coordinator when they're having their event here? We do require a wedding coordinator or planner. We leave it up to the clients, whether they want full service all the way up to month of planning. Uh, each client is unique. Some like to be a little more hands-on than others. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but we do require that and, and, and it's, a, it's a wonderful investment for any couple that's getting married, especially if they want to enjoy their wedding day. Yeah, it's absolutely. a gift to themselves. Right, <laughs> for sure. And what is the max capacity? So for, uh, Receptions, where everybody needs a seat, we max out at 200 for our weddings, for ceremony and reception. Uh, for a corporate event, a little more social, holiday party, we can do 350 up to 400, oh, wow. depending on how we, we utilize the space. <clears throat> What's the parking situation here? Where to guest park? Okay, we do include valet. Uh, Dallas is imploding on itself right now, as we all know. Uh, <laughs> See a lot of valet everywhere. Uh, we include valet with up to 50 cars. Uh, the most we've parked so far in, in my year and a half of being here was 37 for 180 people. Oh wow. Uh, it's rare that we park more than 20, 25 cars. Family affair, multiple people per car. Uh, wedding party's usually already on site here, right? Before mm -hmm. the event starts. Uh, if the occurrence happens where we go over 50 cars, then we just bill $15 a car. Cool. And that of course comes out with security deposit. We don't put the guests up for it when they arrive, so. Right, right, right. We love carpooling. It's more fun and it's better for the environment. It is, and this is the day of Uber and Lyft, so we hope if they're going to be enjoying mm -hmm. themselves for the evening, they're gonna be responsible. So. Exactly, yeah. So, speaking of enjoying yourself, uh, tell us about the bar policy. How does alcohol work on the premises? So, here at the Mason, we do have three exceptional bar companies to choose from for your liquid catering needs. Uh, HG Liquid Catering, uh, Mama's Medicine, and DFW Bartending. Nice, fantastic, and that's full service, I assume? Full service, as much as much help as you need for the evening. Perfect. So can couples put a hold on their date when they're having their event here? 
Uh, we do accept security deposits, but that's during the booking process. We're very much first come, first serve. Okay. Uh, it makes for a fun day of touring when people are looking at the same date and trying to figure out who's going to book the fastest. Uh, if we do have a contract out for your date, we can offer you a 24-hour right of refusal. Um, it happens from time to time, but usually the date's booked, so. Cool. Yeah. So, speaking of that, uh, can you tell us a range of expenses for the venue? Uh, in, in general, for ceremony reception here at, at the Mason, we run on the lower end would be about 30000 mm -hmm. Uh, all the way up to 200k, depending on what services you're offering sure, and yeah. what the menu's like, right? Yeah. Yeah. As of 2023. So. As of 2023, and that that those rates are going to include your food, the rental, or the venue, entertainment, uh, uh, beverage, also and staffing. So speaking of catering, can couples bring in their own catering, food and drinks? Uh, you, you can bring in your own caterers. We do have six uh, preferred caterers to choose from. Uh, exceptional caterers within DFW. Uh, they'll cover everything from African menus to kosher. Uh, if there is a service that you don't, we don't provide uh, through our caterers, uh, say South Asian or kosher or some specialty uh, diet, uh, we can certainly look at that. But we do have a. a outside catering fee that we charge uh, to bring in other caterers, but it is an option. Okay, cool. Yeah, and what about other vendors? Uh, are there requirements for other vendors, that sort of thing? Other than the requirement for for definitely having a plan, plan or a coordinator, uh, we do require that every vendor be a professional and provide certificate of entrance, just yeah. standard liability. That should be common with the industry at any venue yeah. that you go to, uh, and you should expect that of any vendors that you're going to be hiring for your event. Absolutely, that's a good thing to know for couples to, yeah. to keep in mind. DJ or live band, how does that work? Here? We do a lot of both, DJs and live bands. Yeah. Uh, we're a big space. Um, once again, for them, we love working with new vendors. So we do have a list of preferred vendors for the planning coordinators, for DJs, for bands, uh, but you're, you don't have to stick to that list, obviously. There's, there's a ton of wonderful entertainment out mm -hmm. at DFW yes. that are, that are uh, is wonderful and qualified to come work the venue. Mm -hmm. um, we just want to make sure that they're professional and they're going to take care of you the day of. Yeah. Awesome. That's the great thing about DFW is you've got lots of options. Yes. Lots of options in a very, very, very close event and, and, and wedding community here in DFW. So what time does the event have to end? Uh, we do. We are considered to be in a residential area, especially with everything switching over to Bishop Arts. Mm. Uh, we do have an ending at, at midnight yeah. for the event uh, that has something to do with the noise ordinance. Of course, of course. On certain holidays, we can certainly extend that time. Okay, nice. Like New Year's Eve. Like New Year's Eve, yeah. yeah we can go a little later. <laughs> Everyone's awake anyways, right? Right, right. Can you tell me about the design meeting that you guys have? So we host, in the, in the planning process, uh, six to four weeks prior to your wedding or event date, uh, we host a, a design meeting for the client, the couples, the, uh, the planners, the vendors to come to the venue meet. It's, it's, it's a final walkthrough for vendor placement, floor plan, uh, timeline, et cetera, and just the general flow of the event. It's nice that you guys have that. It makes Great a difference. Service. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I bet that would give a lot of couples some peace of mind too. It gives them peace of mind and they actually get to do a walk through it and, and physically see yeah. where everything's going to be in place and how we're going to make their wedding day special. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, thanks for answering all of our questions and for giving us a tour of this amazing, gorgeous, stunning, spectacular venue. Um, I love seeing it and hearing all about it from your point of view. Oh, thank you and Jordan for uh, coming in and exploring the Mesa today. Yeah, happy to be here. Absolutely. It's such a one-of-a-kind venue. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll have more coming to you on a regular basis, so make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>